Hi everyone, so I'm back with another video. Let's start off by priming. This is the collection Prime and Ready. Put your hair back obviously, and this is gonna fill out all your pores and make sure your foundation runs on smoothly. Then I'm going in with this Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It's quite a good foundation actually. Um, I think I've only worn it a few times and it's fairly new as well. So put that all over and uh, make sure you blend well down your neck as well. Then going in with some Naked Urban Decay Concealer and this is literally just to um, hide away my spots or like red areas like around my nose and things like that. Um, and make sure you blend that very well. Um, obviously this is not a light concealer, this is just a more concentrated concealer. And then I'm going in with the actual light concealer which will highlight my face and doing a triangular kind of shape around my eyes and on my eyelids because I have very dark circles. So I've just filled in one and that is the other eye, I'm just patting it down. Then contouring. Um, this is a face definer brush by Exo Beauty and this will give you quite a sharp line. I'm going in with kind of a donk darker contour because um, I wanted this full look to be quite of a warm look. So literally I'm just going around the, the hollows of my cheeks, going all the way down. Um, don't go too far down. And then I'm going around my forehead because I want it to look a little bit smaller. And literally kind of blending it out. Obviously you don't want the sharpest line. Then I'm gonna go in and bake my concealer so it's going to set all the way and not crease throughout the day. Then going in with my Calvin Klein bronzer and this is going to blend the contour a bit more and warm my skin up. As you can see it was really pigmented, I only needed a tiny bit. Um, but if you ever make a mistake like what I did, you just need to keep blending. Now to make my contour really sharp, I'm going to use a concealer. So this is the lighter one that I was using earlier, the Wake Me Up one by Rimmel. And I'm literally taking my foundation brush and blending it out. I don't want the line to be too sharp, but I do want my contour to be noticeable. And then again, going with my bronzer brush and blending it out. So as you can see, it's going to look quite sharp, but um, not too, too noticeable once you blend it out. Then I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows and I'm using the Pro HD uh, palette. I got this in Belgium actually, I never heard of it, but apparently it's like an English London brand. Um, I'm not really used to like using powders, but I thought I'd try it for this video. And uh, yeah, actually I really liked it. So I'm definitely gonna use that in the future. And basically I'm going around the outline of my eyebrow, <laughs> can't speak, and uh, then filling in the middle. So that's the difference between the first and the second one. And then obviously I'm going to do the next brow. So that is both of them. And then I'm going to go in with the Shanexo eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. I'm really in love with this palette. It came out quite a long time ago, but I've only recently started using it. And I'm going to start off with that um, warm kind of, it's not really a transition shade, I suppose, like if you have darker skin, it kind of is. Um, but I'm just blending that just like in the corner. Um, so kind of like the outer V area. And that will just make it look warmer because I'm going to do like a brown smoky eye and do some eyeliner too. So make sure you do that on both sides. I'm literally just doing that dark colour on the outsides and just blending it. Then with this angled kind of blending brush, I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics, again, other eyeshadow palette and mixing these two brown eyeshadows. So I'm going in and literally just kind of eye outlining where the eyeliner is going to go. So if you want to stop here, you can do and just have this kind of brown eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow look, it's completely up to you. Then I'm moisturizing my lips with this uh, Eco Lips lip balm. And then while that is moisturizing my lips, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And I'm literally just following where my eyeshadow is. So that is how it looks and you just do a normal kind of thick eyeliner. You don't have to do it as thick as me. Then I'm kind of blending it and going with lots of browns and adding mascara. So as you can see, you can stop here if you wanted to. I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, nice thick lashes with the real Benefit mascara. 
Then I'm going back in with the BH Cosmetics Shine XO palette and I am highlighting just the inner corners of my eyes just with a kind of, it's a kind of highlighter shade but it's for eyeshadows but it's really really nice. Then taking off my lip balm I'm going to go in with this Loretzi Brick coloured um, lip pencil and lining my lips. I actually really like this colour um, but yeah you can you can just have that if you wanted to add a little bit of lip gloss completely up to you um, but yeah line the lips I'm kind of overlining the lips I'm sorry you can't really see it properly because my camera was not focusing but you know how it is when you're doing a makeup video kind of not always looking at the camera so yeah just overlining my lips and then after filling it in and this will help your lipstick to just stick on all day and not fade as much so it's really good base to have then going in with some fake lashes and these are the I Your Voluminous Volume ones. I really like them, I've used them too many times though. <laughs> then this Ofra, Ofra uh, lip, liquid lipstick. And just filling in, overlining my lips a little bit. And yeah. Then this Bobbi Brown blush. I think it's definitely necessary to warm you up a little bit. Then going in with some highlighter, favourite ever, and I'm going in with a warmer toned one. And just highlighting my cheekbones and my nose. Any places you want to highlight really. <laughs> and that is it. Makeup look done. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, you know, it's going to help me out and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more makeup videos. Really enjoyed filming this and I think it was really good look. So yeah, comment below if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!